When the COVID-19 pandemic started, I was on the front lines in New York City. I remember a feeling of calm before the storm. We knew the storm was coming, but we had no idea of the devastation that was to follow. I remember when the freezer truck first pulled up outside of our emergency department and people stopping to stare at it. And I remember that moment thinking to myself, it's about to get really serious, really quick. And just like that, I remember my colleagues contracting COVID and dropping out on quarantine. I remember colleagues crying because their families caught the virus and had died. I remember the first time I intubated a patient with COVID and just thinking to myself, what's next? Is this when I contract COVID? And can I go home to my wife and my three children now? Being on the front lines, it's a profoundly emotional and frightening experience, to be honest. And not just being in the emergency department or in the intensive care unit, but also emotional and frightening on how to navigate outside of work to protect our families. At the time, we didn't know what was going to happen next. And right now, we still don't. But the way I see it is we're all human. We have feelings, emotions, and fears. We have children, parents, siblings, and loved ones to think about. This is more than just a virus. This is about putting humanity to the test. It's about coming together as one. This is about doing what is right amidst all of the fear, the heartache, and the divisiveness. This is about courage. It's time for us to lift our heads and do the right thing, not just for ourselves, but for each other. Yes, we grieve those that we've lost, but we can still save so many more. And it starts with us. It starts now. As your chief clinical officer, I want you to know that your health and safety are our top priorities. President Biden signed an executive order mandating all private employers with 100 or more employees to require their employees to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 or to provide at least one negative COVID test per week prior to reporting to work. The Centers for Disease and Control, or the CDC for short, has determined the best way to slow the spread of COVID-19 and prevent infection by the Delta variant or other variants is to be vaccinated. As recently published by the CDC, unvaccinated individuals are five times more likely to get COVID-19 and 29 times more likely to be hospitalized as a result of COVID. So whether you work on site or remotely, if you have not done so, we strongly encourage you to receive the vaccine now if you're eligible to protect yourself, your family, and our communities. While we wait for the U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration to share rules regarding the Biden administration's new executive order, cross-country healthcare continues to promote a safe and a healthy environment. As healthcare providers, we are called upon to ensure the safety of our patients that we care for daily. One way to do so is to be vaccinated. This protects you, your loved ones, the patients that we serve, our coworkers, and the public at large. As your chief clinical officer, I have to make those painful and emotionally charged calls to the family members of those in our CCH family that we have lost. It is a painful reminder of how precious life is. Please do not take it for granted. Protect yourselves. The patients that we serve need you, and so do your loved ones. Now is the time to act. Thank you. Thank you for being our heroes, for fighting this battle and leading cross-country healthcare to a better place. I'm proud to be on this journey with you and call you my fellow healthcare professionals. Our fight is not yet over as we continue to see COVID cases in our facilities and communities. Please get vaccinated. Please encourage your family, friends and co-workers to get vaccinated too. This protects you, your loved ones and others around you. 
Widespread vaccination is how we're going to keep variants at bay and end this pandemic for good. We all play an important part in preventing the spread of COVID-19. Please remember to avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Stay at home when you are sick and avoid close contact with others who may be sick. Use a face covering when physical distancing is difficult and continue to clean surfaces and wash your hands. Thank you for all that you are doing. We are so grateful for the part you're playing. Everyone at Cross Country sincerely thanks you.